Welcome back. Catalina Foothills High School Advanced Theater Arts class is taking not one, but two big productions on. Claire Bergen and James Wallace are here to tell us about both. You guys, thank you so much for coming in. Thank you for having us. Yes. So you guys are each going to tell me about each one of the productions and the roles that you guys are doing uh, in both. James, let's start with you. Uh -huh. So the show that we're doing, mm -hmm. we're, it's split into two shows, yes. but I'm doing, we're doing Metamorphoses mm -hmm. based on Ovid's Metamorphoses, of course. But um, I play King Midas and King Saic, so oh. I don't really want to spoil yeah. a lot of it. <laughs> but so King Midas, I'm sure a lot of people already yep. know what that's about. But for the people who don't, he's very greedy. And that's basically his, how he starts out is that. And then we'll build from there. But then King Saix is more of a devoted family man, but he also has a lust for adventure and he's very adventurous. And okay. that is like the inciting incident. Who would you say is a perfect person to see this particular production? Um, I would say people who pro who appreciate the classics, like Ovid, of course, like a classic. Right. Um, and the people who just want to see like a different type of show because it's very non-traditional, I would say. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. Well, like we said, this is split into two. Kind of tell me about uh, the other production in your role. So I'm doing Rumors by Neil Simon. It's kind of a typical, you know, Neil Simon mm -hmm. farce. So there's a lot of witty dialogue, a lot of unconventional scenario scenarios, physical comedy. I play Chris Gorman, a lawyer, who's kind of very frazzled. Uh, they're definitely put in a tough scenario. I won't go too far into it to avoid any spoilers, but they're eventually trying to deal with this kind of controversial setup and dealing with the aftermath and trying to figure out what actually happened, hence the title Rumors. Interesting. And for you as well, what type of person do you think would enjoy that production? I mean, if you like 80s comedy, yes. definitely go. There are some, it, it's not exactly a family show. There are definitely some darker themes. Uh, so don't maybe don't bring your five-year-old child. Okay. <laughs> That's a good uh, kind of put out there for the parents. But this is definitely grab your honey and come out and oh, yeah. spend an evening out. I love both of you are warning us about the spoilers, which means there's so much more for us to hear, hear and see in both of these productions if we come out. That's the way you reel people in. Uh, tell me how long it's been uh, getting up to opening night for both of these. So now we're up to two months. Mm -hmm. Two months you yeah, guys have been, been working, working on this? Since the 13th of, or, yeah, 13th of February. Oh, wow. Yeah. And so this is all leading up to the big opening night? Yes, yeah. we had different opening nights. This is one week before ours. Yeah. Uh, so. He'll have a little less than three months. We'll have about three months yeah. to finish ours. Interesting. I did mention that this is the advanced class that's mm -hmm. putting on these productions. How has this class been for you, and how have you guys been learning and, and absorbing things? Do you want to go first, or should I go first? Oh, yeah, uh, so I, this is my second year in the class. You okay. kind of enter as a junior. Uh, what's really amazing about advanced theater, the class, is usually the shows are student-directed, mm -hmm. so you get to really interact with your peers and really explore creativity in a way that maybe you haven't when you're just learning the basics. So it's... Essentially, the class is you've learned the fundamentals, now what can you do with them? Yeah. So it's really a great creative experience. And are you guys planning on taking those skills beyond this? What are your plans uh, post high school? Uh, um, at the moment, I'm currently undecided. I mean, the dream, yeah. the dream is theater. Right. To be able to do that. But that's, very, that's a very ephemeral job, I would say. It's like, don't know, it's kind of unstable. But I mean, that's the. Look. Go big, go big or go home, go with the big dream. Are, are you hoping to kind of stay in the same field also? Um, not as much. I was, you know, I'm, make, I'm a senior, I'm making my final yeah. college decisions. So I'll probably major in cognitive science, which is wow. a popular field for theater people because you're forced to think about yeah. the mind a lot. And then probably med school. But I really want to do theater in college and for as long as I can because it's yeah. such an important part of myself and I think it's very important to society in general. Wow, that was very well put. <laughs> and you always stay with your passion. If this makes you happy, this is your passion. I see big things uh, for both of your futures. <laughs> now I know you said we have different opening nights. I'm gonna remind everyone where they can get all the dates, times, and all the good stuff about each show. But thank you guys. Please tell the rest of the cast for both. I said good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Absolutely. Now you can catch the Catalina Foothills production of both Metamorphoses and Rumors early next month. For complete details, visit the website listed on your screen. That's where you'll get all the dates and times and all that good stuff. Or give them a call at 209-8300.